Now let's see what are our zooming options here in Cubase. Um, so as you can see here, there are some recorded tracks, actually a bunch of it. And um, don't worry about, you know, the colors, organizations, everything you see here. I'm going to teach you in this course how to get your projects look like this. But just for now, in order to explore zooming options, I wanted to use a real project. And this is a cover of Hans Zimmer's time that I was um, doing for, for just in purpose of practicing. Uh, so that you see what happens with tracks when we use these zooming options. Now the basic zoom sliders are right here, down in the right lower area. And the first one is for vertical zooming. And if I click on this small dot on the slider, and I go, you know, up and down, it automatically brings, uh, gets these tracks bigger or smaller. So it, you know, does the zoom in and zoom out. Now, there are also some available options here under this small triangle. If we click on the drop down menu, it allows us to automatically zoom in to specific uh, sizes. So I can go zoom track two rows or zoom tracks four rows. It gets a bit bigger. I usually like to keep it as small as possible so that I can have a nice overview of all of my tracks. Now the next zooming is horizontal zooming. And if I use this slider, click on the dot, hold the left click. And if I drag it left and right, you can see what happens. All right, now I prefer using shortcuts and I have a you know special um, part of this course dedicated just for shortcuts and how to increase your productivity and workflow and speed with it. I'm a big fan of it. And basic Cubase shortcuts for zoom in and out in horizontal line are letters G and H. So if I press letter G once, I zoom out. If I press letter H, I zoom in. Holding G, you know, I get a, you know, a huge zoom in. Or holding H, as you can see, I can zoom out a lot. Now let's go back. Let's press G again. And now another some of these cool options, like preset options, if we go to vertical line uh, and we go to zoom tracks full, now this allows me to see all of my tracks in the full screen mode. So, you know, it zooms it in so that you see every track in full screen so that it covers the entire screen, but that you can see everything. The same option you have here on the horizontal line. So let me zoom in on uh, zoom out let's say on H, actually zoom in, sorry. Let's zoom in. And then if I go down here and click zoom full, it brings me back to full screen mode, right? So now it zooms it in so that I can see everything, the entire length of my project in full screen, but I still can see everything. And now we covered um, locators. So now that we know what locators are, we can also use an option called zoom to locators. Locators. Let's say I want to work on a specific area around specific track. And let's say that I go to my track, let's say here, um, for example, this part here, this is my, I don't know, viola. Yeah, this is viola. If I click on it, I click on the recorder track and I press letter P, letter P, uh, Cubase automatically sets up locators on the left and right side of this part of the project, around this track, basically. And now I can use an option right here. Um, oh, pardon me, uh, on the lower side, horizontal, horizontal line. I can go to option zoom to locators. If I press zoom to locators, it automatically zooms the project area uh, where that selected track is. So it's a convenient option when you want to, you know, work around a specific part of your project. And this is it about zooming.